It's time to activate your Link Dark cellular trail camera. Following these instructions will ensure your camera is up and working quickly and easily. Before turning the camera on, be sure that you've installed a recently formatted Class 10 SD card between 2 and 32 gigabytes. With the SD card installed, turn the camera on using the switch to the right of the viewing screen. On the main menu, select Settings, General, About the Device, SIM Barcode. This will bring the SIM barcode up on the viewing screen of your LinkDart camera. At this time, open your SpyPoint app and select Activate New Camera either from the Login menu or by selecting the plus sign button on the camera list in the app. You will be taken into the activation process. Select Link Dark from the menu and click Next. You will be reminded to verify that an SD card is installed before proceeding. Once you've chosen your device, you will be prompted to enter the device information. The easiest way to do this is by selecting Scan and using your phone's camera to scan the data matrix or barcode on your camera. If for some reason you are unable to scan, you can enter the information manually. A pop-up tutorial will explain where to find this information. Once the device's information has been scanned or entered, click Next. On the next screen, you can enter any referral information you may have. If you were not referred, simply leave these blank and select Activate My Device. If your activation was successful, you will see this screen congratulating you on the activation of your new device. From here, you can proceed to the photo gallery. If for some reason your activation was unsuccessful, you will be prompted to complete the activation process again. Return to the main menu screen on your Link Dark camera. Here you will see a signal status bar indicator much like you have on your phone. Verify that you have a strong, stable signal. At this time, we are going to power the camera off. Make sure you're still viewing the newly activated Link Dark in the Camera tab of the app and go to Settings. Under Basic Settings, change the delay to Instant. Then, go to Cellular Setup and change the transfer frequency to each detection. You can also change these settings on the camera by going to Settings, Photo, Delay, and Settings, Wireless, Frequency. We won't leave the settings like this, but we want to ensure the camera is transmitting images properly. Once the camera has powered on, verify that you still have a strong, stable signal. Select Start Camera and start the camera in photo mode. This will start a 30 second countdown, during which you should see the red indicator light blink while the camera is counting down. Once the countdown has ended, move in front of the camera to trigger the camera to take a photo. Open your SpyPoint app again and verify that the app did update with the latest communication. From there, refresh the Photos tab until your photos appear. This should happen in just a few minutes. Once the photos appear, you know that your camera is working properly and you are ready to place it in the field. Just be sure that when you put the camera in the field, you make sure you have a strong, stable signal where it's placed to ensure proper transmissions and updates. If the camera shows updated connection times but the photos do not show in your mobile app, shut the camera off and remove the SD card. Verify there are pictures in the DCIM folder by viewing the contents of the SD card on a computer. Reformat the card and reinstall the card in the camera. Turn the camera back on and complete the start camera directions once again. You can also check for images and format the card in the camera by going to the main menu and selecting View. If images appear here, you can format the card by selecting OK, OK again, and Format. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.